Today, we bring together another generation of men and women into the ranks of our armed forces. Here's the big book, all the opportunities we have in the Marine Corps. I looked him in the eye and said, I don't want to be a grunt. You talk about pay and, and your benefits that are positive. It sounded good. He starts telling me, OK, you could go here and you could go there. It starts in basic training. They systematically break you down. Hey, yes, sir. Move. Hey, sir. There was all sorts of chanting, kill ragheads, hajis. I just thought, I can't believe that we're saying this. You take a 19-year-old kid, give him a rifle, and tell him, you want to go back home to your girlfriend? Go destroy that city. The enemy could be anyone. You don't know where to focus your aggression. Who we are when we leave is not who we are when and if we're lucky to return. There's times where I'm glad I'm alive, and then there's times where I wish it would have killed me. You're supposed to be the Superman. We're not supposed to come home and have those, those feelings. My wife's so proud of me. So how can I tell her about the dead kid I saw laying on the side of the road? Then I go from being a hero to a monster. Like you turn on the news every day and you hear a number. 14 wounded, 10 dead. And they think, okay, he'll be all right. But they don't realize injured is missing both his hands or both his legs or whatever. I'm here for a reason. I'm here to make sure that no other soldier has to go through what I had to go through. His dad and I have struggled every day. He chose to end his life after his return from Iraq. That fight wasn't our fight. This is now. We're speaking not only for ourselves, but for the people who are still in the military. Honor the veterans by really like listening to what they have to say. Science has proven you can live approximately 72 hours without water. Spiritually, you can only live a few minutes without hope.